Uh, so hi everyone. You're probably wondering like what is all of that? So today's DIY, we're going to make a Mardi Gras hoop decor. And look at all this stuff I have. I mean, the New Year is in and I'm always creating something for the holidays because my customers, they just, uh, they're very demanding. But for this DIY, this is the things that we're going to use. Because, of course, look at this. I have a box. I mean, a box. This is just one box. One of the boxes of uh, things for the holidays that I create and everything. But for this Mardi Gras hoop, you're going to, of course, you know, you're going to need some beads. You're going to need some beads, of course foam, your Mardi Gras hoop sitting back there because I've already spray painted it gold because of course you know Mardi Gras is gold, purple, and green. And this is the tool. I'm going to use some tool. We're going to use these buckets. I'm also going to use a PVC pipe. Now, this is very long, but you, you know, you buy them, you cut them to the length that you need. But all this decoration and everything I have in this box. I mean, this is cute. This is cute. I may, I may use this one. But you're definitely going to need, you know, your flowers. You're going to need your flowers. I have some flowers right here as well. And all this decoration in the box. I mean, just all kinds of things. But, because the video will be really long with me putting all this st stuff together, I'm going to take you step by step so it won't, hopefully, it won't be a long video. So when I get ready to do the hoop and I've decided all the things that I'm going to put on it, I'm going to come back and show you that. So, if you're interested in seeing... I mean, stay tuned. And I'm also going to add some lights. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start this off. We have the hoop. These are the decorations I will be using. We have the flowers. We have this headband of flowers. And we have the sponge and the glue gun, of course. So, with the sponge, or the foam, we're going to use this long way. We're going to stick the hula hoop here. So, we're going to take and glue the band of flowers across this way. Like this. So, we can stick the hoop through this side. So, let's get started. Let's glue this down. I'm going to glue these first. Okay. Make sure that's completely stuck down. So it screws. Let's put a little bit at the top. Make sure that part is glued down. Ah, it's starting out cute. Okay, it is starting out cute. I don't know. Sometimes it's foam. So we're going to take the hoop. Come on, the decorations. And you're going to open that hoop like that. See, open it like that. We're going to take this foam, 
turn it upside down. You're going to find the center. Push it in there. There we go. Gonna find the other side. Almost the center. And they're gonna push it in there also. Sometimes you can get it to hook, sometimes you can't. But there you go. And you're gonna take your additional flowers that you have here, and you're going to start to decorate around them. Fill it in. Then. Yeah, not so much decorate, but fill it in. Right up there. One up there. So you fill it in all the way around. And we'll be right back. That part is finished. All the flowers are on. We're going to leave this empty because I'm going to come back and show you what I've done with that. So, this is how it looks. Sitting up. And we're going to add these. Let's see, we're going to add these down to the side. I don't want to put it to the side because, of course, I want it to more or less kind of cascade up this way. So, I'm going to sit that one there. Stick this one over here on the side as well. Okay. So, this can kind of cascade around the circle. I don't want to glue it, just some chasing, you know, we want to see it's in that one ball to the back, one to the front. Look how cute that's going. So we're going to take and we're going to do the top and the mesh. I'm not going to say so much the top, I'm really going to do it uh, more or less around the sides. So, now oh, this is getting stuck to the tablecloth. Really. So you're going to twist this. It's going to make a little small casting around. I'm going to use my little pipe cleaners. Let's see. I'm going to hook this first one. To like bring it in, twist that. It's kind of hard to so that hooked on. I usually twist my mesh, twist it. You know, you can make it any way you want it to go. Whatever design I would have you. But I'm going to twist it right there. Put another cleaner here to hold it down. On to the bottom part. I'm going to show you the bottom part because, like I said, this would be a very, very long video. I didn't want to make it that long. So, this is the pipe I took and I spray painted gold. I have my beads, the green, you know, the purple and the gold. I'm going to cut them, and I'm going to wrap it, you know, around the pipe. A layer of green, purple, a layer of gold. And the bucket, after it's finished, it will go in with the bucket. I'm going to glue that down, you know, cement it in there so it won't fall. And... I'll be back with the finished product. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So there it is. It's all finished. Like I said, these things take, oh my goodness, time to do. Try to give you a closer look. Look at that. How cute is that? 
How cute is that? So we're going to go from the bottom to the top in a little bucket. I finished that. I have cement in those little buckets that keeps the sticks stable. And the beads that's going around. Here's a little decoration in the middle. And it also lights up the hoop. This is just really cute. This is really cute. So what decorations are you using for Mardi Gras? These are really cute. Oh, and I'm so glad they're going out the door tomorrow. She will be picking them up. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, and as always, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.